Hey guys, welcome back. So, feel this side. So, this is part two of Azure Databricks tutorial. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can create the workspace of Azure Databricks and where we will be working. So, go to on the Azure portal and we'll try to create the Azure Databricks workspace. So, let me go to in the browser and here I have login inside the Azure portal. And in the site, the top, you can see the Azure services. So inside the Azure services, we can see the Azure Databricks. If this is not available here, then you can go in the search box and you can search for the Azure Databricks and you can click on that. So once we click on that, then here we can see to create a new Databricks. So let me click on this create and it will be asking few details. And after that, your workspace will be ready. So as we can see inside the basic details, it is asking for the project level details. So here we have to select your subscription. As we can see by default, it is selected here. Let me quickly select the resource group. And after selecting this resource group, we can go in the downside. And here we have to specify the workspace name. So let me use the workspace as SS Unitech. So this will be our workspace name and after that the reason. So inside the reason you can select any one of these by which you want to keep all these details on that particular location. So let me choose the South India in my case. Here we can see the pricing tire. So this is very important as here we can see it is having three options. First we can see the trial inside the trial it will be having total 14 days of the trial version so you can use or you can choose the premium or standard so you have to pay for the standard and premium so I'm going to use the premium so we will be going to see all the features that are available inside the Azure Databricks here so after selecting all these details let me click review and create so it will be going to validate first so that we can see in the top side it is validating once this validation will be completed then this create button will be enabled and we can click on this create button and workspace will be created as we can see validation succeed let me click on this create so now it is initializing the development and it will take little bit time so we can wait until this will not be completed so here as we can see the development is completed so now we can go into the resources by clicking on this button which is the go to resource so it will open another window and in this window we'll see to launch the azure databricks workspace so we can wait so here as we can see the ss unitech azure databricks service is created and here let me scroll in the downside and we can see the option for the launch workspace let me click on this so it will open another window and on that window your workspace will be ready and you can start working so now it is asking for the credential for azure active directory single sign in option so it will be automatically sign in and your workspace will be loading so now here we are inside the Azure Databricks workspace. Here what's your current project? So it is asking for the data like on which we want to work. So let me click on this cross. We are not going to specify anything here. Here we can see the get started. So inside that first option which is saying the create the cluster. Because as I have told in the last video of the introduction one, the cluster is the backbone of the Azure Data Factory. So before going to do anything, you have to create the cluster. So that's why inside the setup your workspace, it is asking to create your cluster. Then after we can see the import data. So in the last video, we have already discussed about the creating databases and tables inside the Databricks. So that option is available for the import data. So let me cancel this. We'll see in our upcoming videos one by one. Here in the left side, we can see all these menus and here we can see the menu option. So in the menu option, we can see the auto, expand and collapse. So anyone we can choose. So let me go with this one. Here in the new, let me click on that. 
So before going to new, in the top side, we can see the data science and engineering. So we can work in three different type of the projects. Those could be your data science engineering project or machine learning or the SQL. So I am going to work inside the data science and engineering project. Now we can see the new. So let me click on this new. So here we can see all the options for creating the notebooks, file upload, data, cluster, jobs. So all these options we can create it from here. Let me go inside the workspace because we are more concerned on the workspaces. So inside the workspace, we can see here we are having these two folders. One is the shared one and second for the users. So if we can click on the shared one, so as of now, there is nothing shared, so that's why it is empty. Here we can also create like notebooks, libraries, folders, ML flows. So anyone that you want to do, you can create it directly inside the shared or the users. So inside the users, so let me click on that. And here we can see the option for creating the notebooks, libraries, all these options we can create it here. And we can also provide the permissions, we can export, we can clone it, and everything is available here. We can do whatever you want to do. So this is all about your overview of the Azure portal. Below of that, we can see the repos. So in our upcoming videos, at last we will see how we can set up the repo and how we can work on that. After that, we can see the data option. So inside this data, here we can create your tables, your databases, everything that you want to, you can create it here. So behind the scene, you will be creating the data inside the Hive Meta stores. And here we can write our SQL statements, queries, whatever we want to do. Then the compute and the workflows. So these all options are labeled here. So don't worry if it's not very clear now. In our upcoming videos, we'll be seeing in detail about all these. So I hope guys you have understand how you can create the workspace. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. See you in the next video.